What is going on Radar Force today? Uh, on this product review, we will, we will be going over the original Dragon Ball DVD releases uh, from the early 2000s. So in front of your eyeballs here, we have the uh, Saga of Goku, part 1 and 2, including the Curse of the Blood Rubies movie. Uh, and to the, to the right of it, they, started, they released them in a different uh, way than the original sets. So they start with they start with number two obviously because the saga of Goku is one. Then you have the uh, tournament saga, Red Ribbon Army saga, General Blue, Commander Red saga, Fortune Teller Baba, Tian Shinhan, King Piccolo Part One, King Piccolo Part Two, Piccolo Junior Part One, and Piccolo Junior Part Two. Okay, here is the Saga of Goku DVD box set. This is the first saga in Dragon Ball. Of course, episodes 1 through 13, plus the full-length feature, which is Curse of the Blood Rubies. And uh, here's the box set. Pretty weird release, I must say. And I believe... Yeah, see, this has like, got Trimark, Home Video, and Funimation. I guess it's... They're going through a lot of legal stuff back in these days, I'm sure. Alright, Volume 1... Volume 1 of The Saga of Goku, Episodes 1 through 7. And the back has Episodes 1 through 7, as I said. Uh, apparently it has an interactive game. I have not tried that out. Well, let's, see what's, let's see what's inside. It's been a while since I opened it. Yeah, so we got a little insert here and the disc right, right here. Now let's go to Volume 2. Volume 2 of The Saga of Goku, Episodes 8 through 13, plus Curse of the Blood Rubies movie. And this one has an interactive game as well. I'm, like I said, I'm not sure what the heck that is, but uh, probably nothing much. And let's see what we got inside. It's been a while. Probably the same thing. No, I don't got an insert in this one. Uh, who knows if you're actually supposed to get one. Episodes 8 through 13. Alright, and that is it for the... Uh, Saga of Goku box set from Funimation. And next up we have the Tournament Saga from Funimation. And one thing I didn't know earlier, and I'll get that out now, just mainly because this is a US release thing. Uh, in Australia, they actually released the Saga of Goku in the same art style as the rest of the ones we're going to see. This is the Saga of Goku from Australia from Madman release. But I like it because it actually follows the spine art of the other one of the USA versions. The only thing that's flipped is the, the Dragon Ball is on the bottom instead of the top. But it matches and that's really what I like about it. So I will include it in this video. But the setup is a little bit different. But what you'll find out in a minute here. But yeah, that is the Australian Saga of Goku. Like I said, it's not a US release so really don't count it but I like to mention it in this video. But yeah, the Tournament Saga, Volume 2 of Dragon Ball. And they each come with a little insert here, as well as with the two DVDs. Let's take a look at that insert real quick. Same as the cover artwork, and it shows, goes over all your episodes here. Uh, nothing special, but it, luckily mine don't all have these, which is very good. And now on to the Red Ribbon Army Saga of Dragon Ball. This one, I believe, is actually pretty expensive compared to the other ones. So we have the same setup here uh, with the insert, which just covers the episode guide. And here is the insert for Red Ribbon Army Saga. And there you go. And the back, just advertisements. Then we have the General Blue uh, Saga. Volume 4 of Dragon Ball. Uh, this is actually the first uh, fully released General Blue Saga because the VHS, they canceled uh, two of the uh, two VHS tapes during it. Uh, here is the insert for the General Blue Saga. Yeah, they, on the VHS, they released the first and the last tape. Instead, of, they missed like the episodes in the middle, like five episodes or so. But yeah, that's the insert for General Blue. And then we have... Volume 5, Commander Red.
we have the disc in here. And the discs are basically the same, just change color tones and all that nonsense. I really do love these sets. I just wish they were better quality than the blue bricks, which they're not. The quality on these are doo doo. Committerat Saga insert. And the back, more advertisements. And we have Fortune Teller Baba Saga. Uh, one of the rarest sagas on a uh, VHS side of things, but not for the DVDs, I don't believe. Volume 6. And these are the peak disc. And now for the insert. One of, one of my favorite sagas as well. Advertisements. And Tien Shin Han. Uh, this is where... The VHS has stopped. They released one VHS and never did finish the saga. So this is the first full Tian Shin Han saga uh, ever released in America. That is Tian Shin Han. VHS artwork for the uncut. Uh, and the disc. And insert. And insert. A lot of episodes in the T and Shin Han saga. It's a six tape. It would originally have been a six tape uh, saga in the VHS side of things. Because I actually did create the artwork for it and did the math and all that. And it lined up to be six tapes long. I also did that for King Piccolo and Piccolo Jr. So here is King Piccolo uh, part one. This is where things look, get a little bit rare on the DVD side of things. I love the King Piccolo saga. It's like it increased the stakes tenfold in Dragon Ball. And here we have the disc purple. Love purple. And we have the King Piccolo Part 1 insert. King Piccolo is, is actually a seven tape saga. That's including Part 1 and 2. If it was ever released on VHS, it would have been uh, a seven tape saga. Now to King Piccolo Part 2. This is probably the rarest DVD, I believe, of this set. King Piccolo Saga Part 2. It's also 8.2 on the spine. And then we also have Purple Disc again. As seen right there. I actually haven't fully watched all these sets. I watched a few and then I was like, I think the Blue Bricks are way better quality remastered, unfortunately. Uh, here is the uh, episode list. And now entering the Piccolo Jr. And here we have Piccolo Jr. Part 1. I believe these are decently rare as well. Or rare might be the wrong word, but expensive out of the rest. Uh, Piccolo Jr. Part 1. 9.1. And the back. And we have a green disc this time, which makes sense. And then we have the insert, same as the cover. And Piccolo Jr. is a large saga too. Uh, if you compare it to the VHS, the VHS length should have been... Uh, a 10 uh, tape saga. And now to Piccolo Jr. Part 2. 9.2 in the last of uh, the last DVD of Dragon Ball before they went to DBZ. And green disc once again. And the insert here, Part 2 of Piccolo Jr. And the massive episode list. And Broly advertisement. All right, and that is it for the uh, original Dragon Ball single DVD sets, all the way through Saga of Goku, all the way to Piccolo Junior Part Two. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this uh, episode of the product review. Uh, I, I really do love this set. The color scheme and all is it's beautiful. I, I personally think it's cooler than the uh, Blue Bricks. Unfortunately, the quality is nowhere near that of the Blue Bricks. So as for a watching side of things, it's not really that great. But as a collector, it looks amazing. If you enjoyed this content, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment below. And uh, let me know what you want to see next on the next episode of Product Review, and we'll do it. Uh, I'm only missing a handful of things, so we can pretty much cover all U.S. media. That's including CDs, manga, books, comics, graphic novels, uh, Blu-ray, CDs, VHS, mini-DVDs. Uh, VHS, DVD, whatever. I, I think I said it all. But yeah, uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. You guys take care. Peace.